What's up, Guns Out Nation? I'm John Keys. And I'm sure Michael Singleton, streamer from XCal. Streaming from XCal while I'm <laughs> in the man loft. It's okay. I'd rather be here, guys, right now. The man loft still, is nice, though, guys. I mean, John I'm still has tired some from Range Day, man. World. Hey, you know, hey, I appreciate that. Thank you. For sure, I'm to you sign off on dollars stuff over there, guys. So you need to go hit John up. <laughs> No, don't hit John up. You might get hit up if you get John up coming over here. But uh, anyway, guys, listen, we're here today just to kind of informally and formally thank everybody that had anything mm -hmm. to do with our Range Day yeah. event that we just had over yep. at XCAL. Monumentous yep. occasion for Guns Out, something that we had talked about since Absolutely. we started the platform, and we finally were able to execute. Mm -hmm. So we just want to thank everybody that um, came out and supported us. So, uh, you know, just to start off, definitely, Sherm, I think Guns Out Nation showed up big on that. Oh, day. man, it, it was incredible. I mean, John, we had over 2,000 people based on metrics that represented over, at first I thought it was represented over eight states until I started talking to more people. We had over 10 states. I mean, when I started counting yeah. all the different states. I mean, it was incredible, guys. We appreciate you and John, but it's a testament to us, and, and you've always hinted on this early on, um, the diversity of our followers. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, this is, we have created a platform, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that represents America. And when you look at some channels, John, and this is no knock against anybody, some cater one way or the other. I think we've created a platform that truly unites people, and, and I'm proud of that, man. I am proud of that. No, no, 100%. I agree with you. Um, and that that's something that we really took very seriously from the very start, guys. The two mm -hmm, things that we mm -hmm. took very seriously was one, being a credible source of media as it pertains to the Second Amendment, and two, always catering to anybody in the crowd, especially yeah, yeah. the novice, the intermediate, the, the, the indifferent. And even anti-gunners, we want to we want to change their perception of everything. So so it's like we took this very seriously from day one. We stayed very mm -hmm. consistent, and it absolutely mm -hmm. showed on range day. And I got yeah. a number of comments from everybody involved, from vendors to content creators to the trainers to even the XCal staff that they were just surprised at how wide the 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 array of of patrons were. I mean, yeah. it was old, absolutely. young yeah. women, men. I mean, it was everybody, bro. It, it truly was, and again, I, I just think that considering how much time it's been, the, the, the span of time yeah. has been significantly small in the grand scheme of things. When you think about what we were able to pull together, and you know, Terrence said something interesting to me. There are people with hundreds of thousands of followers who couldn't even get a thousand people together, let alone yeah. over two thousand from all across the country, and right. so that's a testament to the way we've created our content of being open-minded of partnering with all types of people of of trying to be as diverse as we possibly can and i know some people may think that term is a cliche but it is important because every person comes from a unique group of people and each of those mm -hmm. unique groups have their own unique experiences and to and for us to be able to create content that meets all of those things where people say you know what i like this and i want to hang out with other like-minded people who share and their love and fondness and support of Guns Out. Guys, thank you for me and John. Thank you so much. And John, I can't wait, bro, to see what 2023 is going to look like. It's going to be oh, even bigger. Man, listen. Yeah, so just so you know, guys, uh, you know, a little background on this. A lot of people probably didn't know that I actually attended. You know, we only had about two and a half months to pull all that together <laughs> for an absolute right. number of reasons. There was a number of reasons that attributed to the fact that we had to pull this together absolutely quickly. So yeah. um, we put a lot of thought into how we could uh, minimize the opportunity for things to fall through. So we were very mm -hmm. selective mm -hmm. as, to, as to how many yep. vendors we wanted to have, how many shooting experiences we wanted to have. But we all wanted it to be top notch and everyone <laughs> delivered. Everyone brought their A game. Everyone was absolutely accommodating to the entirety of the event. And, and that you could feel the energy. People spoke yeah. about that throughout the day. They like the energy in here, infectious. And I mean, mm -hmm. dude, we had to have felt it because we were podcasting. Bro, we were, we worked that entire oh, event, bro. Oh, we worked and John, think about the number of people who said, I wish I would have came. I wish oh, I could have oh, taken man. off. Oh, I wish man. I would have found the time. I wish yeah. I would have just did it. There were yeah, so yeah. many of those I wish I would have. So mm -hmm. I can't imagine for 2023 what the next range day is going to be like, but also what the other events, I'll just put that hint out there, leading up to it are going yeah. to look like. 
Yeah, yeah. Very. You don't want to miss it, guys. I'm telling you, me and John are on to something big here. Absolutely. And and he did drop a hint, guys. Pay attention to that. All of the events leading up to, because everybody likes an event that is the culmination of several other Mm -hmm. things and events. So just keep that in mind. Um, But before, you know, we we, we have a a couple of special guests that we want to bring in, uh, Mm -hmm. attendees of the event. Um, and, and good friends and colleagues within the industry. We're going to bring them on just a second. But before we do that, I want to actually, I wrote a list because I didn't want to miss anybody. And if I did miss yeah, anybody, yeah. y'all, y'all make you. sure and tear, tear me up in the comments because I, don't, I, I really don't think I missed anybody, but I'll take my lashing in the comments and I'll give you your flowers immediately. Um, but yeah, I started top of the list. Guns Out Nation, new and old, because I know that there were some some diehard Guns Out fans that were there, and I know there's some relatively new uh, fans that were there. So we really appreciate you guys taking the time to come from Shermichael and I. Thank you so much, because this platform wouldn't exist without you guys. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. The, the content creators and trainers that came, I mean, top notch. You guys had these people glowing from ear to ear, coming off of that range. <laughs> Um, and just walking around amongst the content creators, everybody had their cameras out. It was just like these people felt like they were a part of something bigger than themselves. And that was yeah. the point. So all of you that came, the content creators and trainers, man, thank you so much because you added an immense amount of value. to So this. much Not value. Only- and so many of them, I will say, just to interrupt to John real quick, no, you guys, good. came because they saw their post on IG or yeah. on Facebook. Mm-hmm. They saw their post and said, oh, my God, I want to go to this, not only to see them because I've never seen them before, but I also want to meet the Guns Out guys. So we appreciate you all f- for that and appreciate those fans who've become new fans of Guns Out TV. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And then I'm doing my hands thing like Jerry Mitchell, like Jerry. <laughs> so I said, OK, guys, y'all know that's my man. So, yeah, yeah right. but yeah, yeah, that's what we need. That's what we need. That's all we were missing that range day. But it's good. We can't. We can't bring in. We can't bring in all the marbles at once, man. We got to save something for next time because else that's people, right. That's right. People may not be as enthused to come because they they're gonna know what's coming. <laughs> um. All right, man. But yeah, uh, team guns out. When I say team guns out, I'm talking about everybody that had on a staff or media shirt at this event, and all of these people are very close friends of mine and Sher Michaels. Are, are very close colleagues um, in some type of working capacity in the guns out mission. So they're all very important and pivotal to the things that we do. And they, Absolutely. Came, they Absolutely. came through in spades on that day. So I, oh, we got something for you guys. Stay tuned for that. We got something we do. specifically we do. for you guys, because without team guns out, there would have been no way me and Shermichael would have been able to pull all of that <laughs> off because we would have had to literally clone, clone a small army of ourselves. And I don't think the world is ready for a small army of Shermichael and John's. <laughs> that may be true, but I, I don't think mind. the world is ready for another Shermichael. Just one more. We don't need just one more Shermichael. <laughs> Let alone an army, right? You might small. get a rogue one. You may get right. a rogue version. <laughs> and all it takes is one rogue Shermichael. It'll start turning the rest of them. And then we're going to really be in problems. <laughs> we have problems, man. We have problems. Um, and then obviously, man, XCal, XCal mm-hmm. from Jason and Jeff, the owners, yep. to every yep. single staff member. To everybody. There. I mean, first off, everybody. Yeah, yeah, Sherm and I have been there so many times prior to Range Day. And these guys, they have the same attitudes every single time. They're just very um, accommodating people. They're mm-hmm. very enthusiastic mm-hmm. about creating a good shooting experience for everybody that walks through that door. So That's that right. was the other part that we were, we were extremely confident that people would have a good experience because of the people that work there. So shout out mm-hmm. to XL and everybody. Shout in out that to yeah. Um, and now I'm just going to fly through the rest of this list because we don't want this video to be too long. Um, so uh, driver's district cars and coffee, grade a top notch, everybody go Thank to cars and coffee. They do it every first of the month at XCAL go. Um, USCCA, big supporter of us, man. We're working so closely with USCCA because we believe in their products and they yep. came out to range day and supported us. I hope uh, all of Krista the people, and Spencer, we appreciate you guys and all of the USCCA appreciate. family. Every, everybody, everybody mm-hmm. at USCCA. Um, and uh, Gun Owners of America, obviously. Oh my gosh, Gun Owners of America. Without Gun Owners of America, we wouldn't have been able to do all the work <laughs> leading up to this event. <laughs> right. Period. That's true. So that Gun Owners true. of America, very glad to have we you guys thank you there. Guys. Absolutely. And thank you for everything. Hopefully, uh, y'all signed up a bunch of members, both you and USCCA. 
Um, and then December Customs, local guys right in the tri-state area came and, and showed off their custom uh, gear that they make, the uh, belts and slings and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Everybody, man, mm -hmm. I, I kept hearing people walking around talking about December Customs. Great job, guys. Glad you could make it. AR Takedown coming from the West Coast with an array of different products mm -hmm. and some, mm -hmm. some very mm -hmm. uh, young and enthusiastic guys at the table knew everything they were talking about. AR Takedown, great job. Tack Resist, mm -hmm. our boy Leeway, ex-NFL player that has an amazing uh, innovation as it pertains to fitness and firearms, which remember that name, fitness and firearms. That's all I'm going to say. Um, Leeway, great job with Tack Resist. Oasis Cigar Bar, they actually have cigars in the Cigar Lounge at XCAL. Check them out. Their cigars are great. I don't even smoke cigars like mm -hmm. that, but I like their cigars. And uh, last but not least, VCDL. Uh, came through last minute because we invited them last minute because we learned about them having that availability last minute. Oh, and obviously, Taryn, 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 absolute celebrity, absolute bona fide world class shooter. Dude, you were the life of the party. Everybody was there to see Guns Out and Taryn and Taryn and mm -hmm. Guns Out or Guns Out with Taryn. And they saw all of that and they shot all your guns and everybody was happy as hell. Thank you, Taryn That's and Tatiana, right. for taking Thank time out of your busy schedule in life to come hang out with Guns Out at XCAL. Um, Wolfpack Armory, thank you so much uh, for coming through. IV88, Chad, and Eric. Dude, we definitely owe you guys something. So when we come to Range Day with you guys, we're definitely going to do something special because you guys worked as hard as we did. Y'all were on that range they the did. whole time. The entire time. Bro, by the end of the day, when I saw Eric, bro, he was just kind of like hobbling out of the range. His hands was all dirty because he had been jamming mags all day and handling <laughs> firearms. Eric, what, oh, dude, what a class act you are, man. Just really just That's putting everything bro, in man. mind and just, just working, guys, Eric working for guns out, man. Eric and Chad, golly, man, special place uh, for you guys. Monsoon Tactical, the unsung hero of the of the range, bro. Like, I heard this guy had a line out the wazoo. He did, the like, nine or th I don't know, 9, 10, 15 pistols. I mean, it was crazy. Every yeah. pistol, 2011, Glocks, everything you can think of. Vinny, it, it was it was there, okay? Yeah, it yeah. Was it was there. It was there, and that's crazy. So I, I know out, guys because it. his work is it, this is good stuff. No, no, Vinny's Vinny's the man. Vinny's the man, and everybody that contributed to the giveaways. So Fox Trap Mike uh, for the rifles, Retro Rifle for the shirts, Bastinelli Knives for the amazing blades they, that he contributed, Syndicus for the custom AK, and Imperium Roots for uh, the CBD gel. That that table got wiped out. I saw it. I wanted a little jar of the gel or the squeeze bottle of the gel. That stuff was gone before I could even get to it. And then obviously Roger contributing the holster to the custom uh, staccato C for range day that was mm -hmm. uh, manufactured by Vinny or, or machined. What's the proper term? Gunsmith by uh, Vinny to, to become the custom yeah. staccato yeah. range mm -hmm. day C. Um, so just, dude, it was amazing. And if you missed it, I'm sorry you missed it. We're doing it again. Stay tuned for uh, Range Day 2023. But now we're going to bring in Roger from QVO and Vinny from Monsoon Tactical to get their take What's up, guys? on yo, Range yo. Day. What's up, guys? Guys, if I jump off early, it's only because my food is here and I don't want it to get cold. So I just As soon as your food is done, Sherm, get out of here, man. I don't want to hear already, you complain. It's already gonna... done. Oh, well, you should go then, man. It's cool. You said well, we. I, I just needed you here for the thank you. Oh wow! They so know guys, they know you're kicking my ass okay. to the curb. <laughs> just kicking me to man. This is some trifling stuff here. Uh, uh bro. Some trifling it's all good. stuff. That's why we got two. We got two anchors for this show, sir. <laughs> oh God! Don't tell me you're about to be getting a gig on Fox, CNN, or MSNBC next. Oh yeah, bro. Look, you already told me you get me on serious. I'm gonna hold you to that. You guys pop. No, up I think it would be. You know what? Let me get clip. off here. Vinny and Roger, I'm getting off here. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for coming. Um, Vinny, I'm gonna be hitting you up, bro, because I really want you to do that work for on my staccato P guys. Again, these guys are amazing. Buy Rogers hosters if you don't have one. There, they are a work of art. Vinny, in his own right, this guy is a machinist. He will make a well-made pistol perform at an even optimum level. So imagine buying like a Ferrari and Lamborghini, and then going to an exotic shop and doing even more custom work to make it better. Yeah, that's how I would. That's how I would compare Vinny and the work that he does. So check them guys out again, guys. Thanks so much for coming. We appreciate it. Thanks, man. Right. Enjoy dinner, bro. Thanks, man. All right, later, later, guys. All right. Now that we got Sherm out of here, we can party. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, listen, guys. So happy to have you here to kind of uh, talk about your range day experience because this feedback is very important. Obviously, you guys go to all the stuff that the industry 
throws at us, right? We get to do this all the time. And not many content creators do something like this. And I dare to say that I don't know of any content creator that's actually done this for, for the industry and the public at the same time. Sure. So, so, you know, sure. starting with you, Roger, tell, tell me, you know, what, what was your take on range day? Like what, what was the takeaway that you had or, or, or expectations, whatever, just freestyle. Tell me how it made you feel, bro. Okay. So like my, my goal with going to the event was cause I wasn't, I didn't want to be a vendor or anything. I wanted to go and I wanted to experience it as somebody coming in from the general public. So that's what I kind of made my video about. But uh, honestly, definitely, I was talking to Ken in our video about it way more than what we expected it to be. Um, you know, there, you guys, you've done like, you've been to events where it's their first one. This, uh, Ken and I both were talking about how this felt like it was like <clears throat> the 10th time doing this event. Like it was very well put together. Um, I mean, like there was something for everybody to do. And with how many things that you guys had going on, there was very minimal wait times. Um, my experience from like other events has been like where you end up being like in a line for 20 minutes, missing other stuff because it took so long versus this. I mean, even Vinny with his long line, he was able to get shooters going through. He brought in some help and um, it was just an overall fun event, man. Like I, I, I couldn't think of anything that I would tell you to do differently for the next one. Um, I mean, yeah, like there was never not something to do. That's awesome, man. That, and that, that was our goal. Like I said, we, we, we could have j tried to jam all the vendors in there. We could have even utilized some of the private ranges to have vendors come and, and do their thing. But we, we that's what we didn't want. We didn't want people to have uh, too many choices because too many choices can be just as bad as not enough choices. Sure. And, and obviously, we, we, we wanted to keep the wait, di wait times down so everybody can go through everything if they so desire to do so. So I appreciate you acknowledging that, man, because that was absolutely a focal point of, of this event. And, and I definitely agree with you. I think that we crushed it because I didn't hear not one person complain about wait times, not one single time. Right. So Vinny, Vinny, how about you, man? Like I, I I'm definitely interested to, to, cause I know you guys, y'all do Ohio range day all the time. And then you got uh RX range day. That's, that's what it called. RX range day. Yeah. So, so I know you do some pretty big, are, are a part of a, some pretty big events and range days. So what, what was your take on uh guns out range day? Yeah, so like kind of like uh, we've talked before on the phone, um, Guns Out Range Day was a completely different kind of range day than what I'm used to, because a lot of the range days I'm going to has a lot of training centered aspects to it with some vendor stuff, and that kind of the the training can kind of take away from the vendor spotlight and vice versa. However, you want to look at it as a sponsor there. So your range day was really able to let also a different demographic of people come and see different products, et cetera, like that different vendors meet, meet all the people they wanted to meet versus like the people that I've seen in the past at different range days have kind of, or they're already in the scene, at least in my space of like custom gunsmith stuff, Gucci guns. They already know that they kind of have their affiliations with different companies throughout wherever they're from. So it's really, it's a hard sell for some of those people because they already they already know what's up, right? Where the people that I met at uh, Go Range Day were a lot of new, fresh people that have never seen it before, and it's been gr it was great to get in front of people like that. And then I had so much fun interacting with all the uh, the people that came through, and they were just eating it up, shooting the guns, super excited. Um, but yeah, dude, kind of like what Roger said, uh, for being two and a half months of planning, it ran ridiculously smooth. And I think also a lot of that has to do with the help that you guys had uh, with, you know, go, uh, Guns Out Nation and XCAL staff. And I don't think I'd change much. I think the amount of vendors and live fire sponsors that you had was perfect so that everybody could kind of go out and explore everything. Yeah, yeah, no, no doubt, man. I appreciate that. Um, Vinny and I was, you know, it's, it's very interesting because I know that I felt like the range was going to be a little pistol heavy because we had Atlas there and they had a bunch of pistols. And then I know that we had the Terran experience and, you know, Terran's run, that thing was all pistols, uh, whether it be a, a an actual uh, a handgun or whether it be a PCC. So, uh, but bro, it was like your array of firearms was just different, man. Like you had 
a lot to choose from and all of it was absolutely custom kind of mach and, and machined to your spec. So I think that it says a lot about your work, like Sir Michael said earlier, that everybody enjoyed it so much because it's, it wasn't only the performance, but it's the aesthetic, bro. Like, uh, I think that it speaks to your, your level of work, your caliber of work that you could take, you know, some pistols that are already, you know, some of the best in the industry and, enhance them you can enhance them and customize them and make them appealing and not intimidating for novice shooters to shoot because like you said there was a lot of new people there and that's probably why they was eating your stuff up bro because it was brands that they heard of but it with a look that they have probably not seen before because if they go into a regular gun shop, you're not going to see those staccatos with the, with the, with the chunk ports. You're not going to see um, the SIGs that you had out there uh, customized the way that you had them. So, so man, look, I, I thought it was just amazing. I, I think you did a great job. Uh, I'm glad that you enjoyed yourself. Um, so, so now let's, let's get down to the, to the nitty gritty on the Terran tactical shoot. So what do we think about that? So I, I know you guys never been out to Simi Valley to actually shoot at Terrans. We have, and we wanted to create, an experience that would feel like what people see on on the social media, on YouTube, and wherever else they see those celebrities going out, the celebrities and athletes going out there and shooting in Terrence uh, Tactical Playground. So you guys got to shoot it. What would you think? Did, like, how was that represented in your opinion? Uh, I mean, I think it's awesome that people, I, there's so many people there that Taryn ran from the general public that I think they're going to watch it and go, like, when they see, you know, his videos come up on Instagram, they're going to be like, yo, I got to do that. And it was actually Taryn that ran me to the drill. And, you know, that's that's a, that's a bucket list item for a lot of people. Like, there's, you know, a huge fan base for, for all the stuff he does, the John Wick movies. And, when you know, you see Keanu Reeves and Halle Berry and all them running that drill. And now they're like, hey, I got to go run the same thing. Yeah, no, absolutely. I agree, man. And and it's funny, too, because, you know, as a content creator, sometimes we can get lost on that idea. We can get lost on the fact that people are looking at us on Instagram and on YouTube and they're seeing the things that we do and they're living vicariously through us. And in the moment that we decided to make range day a public range day, like that's that that was the absolute goal and mission. It was like we want to let these people really feel because because now they're even more connected. They're even more connected to what we do because now they had a small taste of it. And that's what we wanted. And there were so many people that came up to us and thanked us for that. And and we just appreciated them for for giving us a shot to to let them experience that. There was a there's a guy that showed up to the event. His name's Kendall Brown. Before the event, he posted in the Staccato Enthusiast group and like it, it tagged my name and I read it and it's like who else is driving all the way to Virginia to go hang out with Roger at the guns out event. And I was like, I was just, I was just laughing. And then he walked up to me and he's like, Hey man, I'm Kendall Brown. I drove three hours just to come meet you. And I'm like, wait, what? And so yeah. I, and it was right before I hopped on the podcast with you guys. So I only had like 30 seconds to talk to him and then he ended up taking right. off. But I reached out to him when I got back home, got his address and I sent him like this huge swag pack. I mean, like to me, oh, it's nice. crazy that somebody would drive three hours just to come talk to me. So it's like, yeah. those, those are the customers that like we're super grateful for. And it's like, when I talk about like the, the true QBO supporters, it's like, like there's not many people that I, in my personal life that I would drive three hours to go hang out with yeah. and talk to, you know, and he came all the way yeah, out to talk driving. to me for like, right? Came all the way out <laughs> talking for, a, for, for a minute. And it's just like, we're super grateful. And like, like, I was telling Ken, man, like we're like, you guys killed it. And when I was talking to John about, Hey, if we're going to make it out to the event, like, I don't know if you had heard, like my grandpa had passed away and stuff. So that's why we were. No, I did not. Kind of, yeah, so that happened like a week before I came to see you. Oh wow, so, man! My, con get my ah, condolences, bro. For real, I appreciate it, man. And no, so like we we're, man. and so like John, John's like, oh, no, we're still going, man. I was like, John Keys and Sher Michael, they always come out to Vegas. They're always super supportive since you guys started. So I was like, I'm not missing this event. So we came out and did 100 percent worth it. Like, got my mind out of like all the stuff that kind of thinking about here and just had it had a good time, man. I got to be, you know, like. Back in the day when you'd go to all these guns events, like gun events to like hang out and meet people. It's like I got to be one of those fans and I had a blast, man. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Vinny, any any final thoughts? On what? The Terran tactical stuff and all the things. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we did I didn't even get to take on the Terran thing. Yeah. So so what'd you think about the Terran thing? You got to shoot. I mean, is that one of the things that like did you ever think that you wanted to shoot the Terran thing? I mean, I we see you compete <coughs> all the time and you're damn good. So like like what was that like? I mean, it was cool to, to get hands on, um, you know, some higher end stuff, um, meeting Taryn for the, like the kind of the second ish time I met him at SHOT Show once. Uh, it was fun to shoot, you know, uh, guys like you, Roger, and a lot of the dudes that we know, 
that kind of shooting isn't new to us. So it, it was just fun to be able to display a little bit of skill and like kind of show people that are there watching us that know us like, yeah, we can't actually shoot. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a lot yes. of that going around there where it's like, uh, can the guy actually shoot? And like, you know, I kind of said something about this earlier when Roger posted his video today is, and I've actually heard from other instructors and stuff. It's like, if you got a guy that owns a company and can shoot, pay attention to that dude, because he knows what you want. Right. Just a little plug for, for both of us here. Real talk. But, um, the other thing too, though, is like, we're used to that kind of shooting, but kind of like what Roger said, a lot of these people aren't. So right. to, for them to be able to, like what you said, experience what they see on the internet, I think mm-hmm. is a huge deal. And it's going to make them want to come back. If you have something like that, every time you do it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And that's also building <laughs> culture, building uh new, you know, the next generation of shooters to want to go out and do that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it was great, man. Um, having stuff like that out there for them to, to enjoy and experience for the first time is a huge deal. That, that the, kid, I, I, yeah, dude, that kid in my video, that was his first time yeah. ever running something like that. And he had Taryn Tactical running him through it. Like yeah, his first one, time ever running a steel challenge type setup and it's Taryn Tactical is running him through it. Yep. Yeah. The one thing I will say that was absolutely phenomenal was the safety on the range the whole weekend. It was, yeah, yeah. No, there was no, no unsafe moments where I felt like I was in trouble, even with the freaking Banshee next to me, right? <laughs> um, which you is know, crazy, cause, man, because like I, I stay away from indoor ranges for that exact reason. Yeah. Oh, so. yeah, right. So yeah, th- let's talk about that just real quick, because I noticed that both of you mentioned that about the Banshee. First off, no, not the Banshee, the Mutant. It was the Mutant. Mutant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So the Mutant, I tell everybody, the Mutant sounds like a damn helicopter. Like that thing is so loud. I mean, to the point of which when we were doing the podcast, that's a whole soundproof thing, right? Like mm-hmm. you could not hear a single gunshot except for when somebody did a proper mag dump with the mutant. When somebody did a full on full 20, 30 round mag dump with that mutant, you not only heard it, you felt it because that gun is just so, I don't, I don't even know how it does that and not like fly out of people's hands, but that, that gun is just impeccable and in a league of its own as it pertains to like fun factor and power factor and and loudness. Um, But yeah, for, for, for all of us to be in that, indoor range 10 lanes and we had four vendors mutant right in the middle of that and for everybody to still be in there and have a good time and and just enjoy it i mean it speaks to the ingenuity that went into the engineering of xcal that architecture is premium uh the soundproofing is premium the same i want those walls in my house man yeah dude crazy right but that stuff was made out of those like the weird little foam like noodle looking things yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a whole bunch of them. You had to like glue them together or yeah. something, man. It's the craziest thing ever, bro. Yeah, I mean, craziest thing. X Cal, that was the only I've never seen anything like it up until then. There was yeah. like nothing even comes close that I've seen ever to to yeah. what that place was. So it's crazy. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people were hitting me up like, "Oh, you guys have stuff like that in Vegas." I was like, "We have individual things. Like you'd have to take <laughs> five different businesses and put them in one building to make X Cal." Yeah. 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 Yeah, very <laughs> good point. Very good point. And I think we will close on that point, people, because this video has already gone 30 minutes. Uh, I don't know when we edit it down and maybe take out some stuff. It might be lower than that. But I mean, everything here was so substantive and it was so meaningful because all of it was true. All of it was, you know, our candid opinions and thoughts. And I think that, listen, Range Day was an absolute success. Shermichael and I, we don't play this game to lose and we rarely do. I don't think that we have actually. I, I think. The time there's a loser is when we, me and him compete, and even that goes back and forth. So we both win at the end of the day because we get better, right? You're about um, to be some losers in the next couple months, you know what I mean? Hey, 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 I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. You see, see, we got a thing we're cooking up right now where you're going to be able to see guns out face off against some of your favorite content creators and and gun people. So stay tuned for that. Vinny's already <laughs> trying to form his team with Roger, which I don't mind. I don't mind. And I, but I'm wondering what's the team name going to be? Is it going to be Team QVR? Or is it going to be Team Monsoon? Which one? Are, are we going to make up a new name? We're going to have a we're going to have a conglomerate here. Where we're going to have be? to make a benefit type name. <laughs> well, you both, got, you, you both got you both got tactical Super squad, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. Mon Mon Moncuvio. Moncuvio. <laughs> Mon- Moncuvio Moncuvio. Tactical. but listen I-, I appreciate you guys taking the time to jump on with us and talk talk to us about this um and and i mean dude we're looking forward to everything that's going to come from this because 
people are hungry for it. There's uh, there's an absolute appetite for it. And we're glad that we showed that to the public and we showed that we could do that in a safe way, in a, in a loving and wholesome way, because the energy was so positive. Everybody was so happy coming into the place and walking out of the place. So, again, thanks to everybody that was a part of this. Um, thank you two guys for joining in. And guys, listen, this is a wrap of another episode. We have our range day recap video coming by the end of the week or maybe the weekend. We don't know. We want that thing to be right. So that's why we had to jump on here and do this thank you episode just to let you know that we didn't, we weren't trying to act like range day didn't happen. We want you to know it happened and we want you to see it in all its glory. So stay tuned for that recap episode. In the meantime, go check out Roger's episode. Go check out Tactical Turkey's episode. There's so many people that have episodes about Guns Out Range Day on YouTube. Just type in Guns Out Range Day or Guns Out TV. You'll see all that stuff come up. Check those things out. See what you missed and plan to not miss it ever again. All right? Please remember, like, share, comment, subscribe, feed the algorithm so we can bring more of this content to you. And at the end of the day, let's go. Somebody say get some. Get some. There we go. I don't know if you heard that. Somebody <laughs> said it from the backstage. Get you. Son. All right, guys. Later. <laughs>